remember. And Brendan joins me now. Hi there, Brendan. Hello, good morning, Kian. Good, good morning to you. Now, listen to me. What's all this about sugar cubes, then? What on earth did you get into well, doing art with sugar cubes? How did you get inspired to do that? Well, I started about eight years ago when I was doing my master's in art college. And what I love about sugar is that the sparkles of the sugar crystals on the surface. So it gives the, it gives the sculpture a real magical quality. Uh, and also the, the way that the sugar can be built up into blocks um, and can be cut and carved into lots of intricate shapes. Now you've come up with this design, but this isn't the only design that you've done. Just tell us some of the other bits of work that you've done made of sugar cubes. Yeah, I was commissioned last year to build the, the Tim Modern out of sugar cubes um, and Neil Bankside, uh, which is the developer beside it, and that was for the, the London Festival of Architecture. Um, and then currently on the show as well, back in Northern Ireland, is uh, Helen's Tower and Banker Castle, Tony Hall, which I was recently commissioned uh, to make out of sugar cubes as well. I guess you've got to be really careful though, don't you? Because with sugar melt... Um dissolving in water, you've got to be careful about the moisture in the air, do you? I mean, the mucus storing your works of art, I guess, need careful attention. Well, the moisture, luckily, it doesn't affect us here in our climate in the UK, but, um, but certainly if it was in, in Florida or the Sahara Desert or something, it might, it might be a problem with the, the, the humidity, but no, uh, no, it's fine. I mean, the smaller commissions go in, in plastic display cases, so that keeps them safe. Mm, do you ever find yourself eating any of your sugar cubes during uh, construction. <laughs> no, I never get tempted. <laughs> well, look, um, tell us a little bit more about the, the, the work at the at the town that we can see then. Okay, well, it's curated by Sam and Moore, um, at the, the exhibitions officer at the, uh, at the Town Year Museum in Eastbourne, and um, it's, it's a project that she has been working on for the past five years. So, uh, so the piece that I have there has been built over the last three and a half years. Uh, it's, uh, it's a quarter of a million sugar cubes in it in total. And it was a lot of the research that I was doing was in, inspired by the Marchetto Towers along the coast, uh, the Redoubt Fortress and the, the Bell Two Lighthouse and Beachy Head Lighthouse in Eastbourne. So I was trying to make something quite specific uh, to the place where it was being, where it's being exhibited in at the moment. That sounds fantastic. I like the fact that it's been inspired locally as well. Now you can see, thank you very much, Brendan Jameson, who's the artist that features at the Town of Greenwich Gallery, and you can see Brendan's work along with five other artists in the Compulsive, Obsessive, Repetitive exhibition on until the 18th of September.